GT Max and the Commander GT Pro. The two most powerful EUCs on the market today for the year 2024 at 168 volts. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts and opinions after having put a combined 2,000 miles on these two wheels. The majority of those miles being on the ET Max since I've been riding that a bit longer. But I'm confident I can give you a well-rounded opinion at this point, so here it goes. Let's start with the ET Max. I don't think anybody would argue the ET Max is a beautiful wheel. Right out of the box with the stock pads installed, the design and thought put into this wheel really shines through. As far as the ride's concerned, this wheel can book it. Especially when you start to tap into that 40 mile per hour plus zone, the wheel just really wants to stabilize and take off like a rocket in a straight line. One of the best aspects of the ET Max, in my opinion, is because of the higher height of the wheel, is the ease in which you can transition into the seated riding position. Once there, simple lean forward and you're off to the races. For this reason, the ET Max is my favorite go-to wheel for seated riding. Now, the suspension is more on the stiff side, especially with the 1300 pound coil, which is what I have here installed on my wheel. There is now a 900 pound option, which you may want to consider. But that stiffer suspension, I relate it to more of a sports car feel. And I'm sure like me, you'll find the ET Max is a joy to ride. Now the Commander GT Pro got a lot of flack for its overall style and appearance. Now personally, I think the wheel looks great, but man, let me tell you, this is a fast utility based wheel. The larger body on the Commander GT Pro gives you ample room to move your power pads where it is you need them. And the larger body can also accommodate more battery cells which is why they've recently released a Commander GT Pro Plus that has a whopping 4400 watt hours versus the 3000 watt hours in the standard Commander GT Pro. Now it's important to note there's a couple variations of this wheel available as far as motors are concerned. There's a C38 motor version which is geared more towards high speed. And then there's the C40 motor which is what I've got on my wheel which I'm pretty sure is exclusively available through Alien Rides only. And this is the high torque version. So when I'm talking about the ride feel in my experience, just know I am riding the 3000 watt hour Commander GT Pro with the C40 motor. Now the Commander GT Pro, that torque off the line, that low end torque is so noticeable and it is awesome. I have no problem getting up to speed quickly. We're talking zero to 50 plus in just a few seconds. Not to take anything away from the ET Max, it's just a bit harder to tap into that lower end power and get it going right off the bat. The suspension on the GT Pro right out the box was feeling great. The dual fork hydraulic suspension on this wheel makes for a smooth ride. Now I strictly have been riding the Commander GT Pro in the standing riding position and that's in part because of the lower profile of the wheel but also because this wheel is just so fun and balanced to ride in the standing riding position. But once you do get down, there's a nice big flat surface for you to sit down and enjoy the ride. I've been switching back and forth between these two wheels, comparing and seeing which one I have the most fun with. And I gotta tell you, I have a ton of fun on both of these wheels. To sum it up, the ET Max rips, it's an awesome seated cruiser, and although a bit harder to tap into some of that low end power, once you get it going, it's nothing but fun. It's plenty stable, quite beautiful, and does come with a smart BMS system. The Commander GT Pro is a wheel I like to just hop on and get going quick right off the bat. Not only is it fast, it's stable, and it's nimble. And although it doesn't come with a smart BMS, I'm willing to overlook that just because the wheel is such a blast to ride. So if you're in the market for a wheel and you're considering either of these wheels, honestly you can't go wrong. So with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Have yourself a great rest of the day. I hope you get out on a ride on your EUC today. If so, be safe, have fun, and until next time, this is Electrified Rider. Take care, everybody. I'll be talking to you again soon. <laughs>